Driving at night can be weird sometimes, these headlights like coming on. What did I do? <laughs> no officer, I didn't get pulled over, I'm just using this light. So if you do any photo or video work, you know the most important thing is lighting. If you don't light things, you can't see it, then the video is not going to be any good. So there can be two big challenges when it comes to lighting. Number one is spending a lot of time setting up lighting it can be a pain, especially if you just want to do a quick shoot. And then number two, when you're traveling, it's really hard to take anything with you. So maybe you take one of these little pocket lights, which lights up just a little bit of an area, but not a large area, and it kind of create that nice soft light. That's where I got the Sarui T60. By the way, I'm not sponsored or paid by Sarui for doing this uh, review. They did give me this light, but that was it. There was no instructions on what I had to say. So it comes in this bag, which makes it very, very easy to travel with. But that's not the big thing about this. This is the world's first telescopic light. So I can be the Sith, like Vader. Touch for button. I can be the Jedi. I can be Luke or... So now we've got double the light and notice as it telescopes hits the end the second light comes on So now we've got this very very large light source that we can really illuminate things with really nicely But it gets even better than that the controller on the back here is actually magnetic and works remotely It also comes with a little tripod So we can mount it and we've got lighting ready to go anytime now, this has three different modes. The first mode is working in the regular lighting. And I can go in here, I can dim this light. I can change the color temperature. So if I want this to be a warmer light or a cooler light, I can go in and I can match the color temperature of wherever I am. One of the other modes is this works as an RGB light. So this setting goes 360 degrees. So pretty much any color inside the RGB spectrum just be dialed in of course there's a memory here where I can save it and it has different modes we can do different types of special effects one of them is a music setting where it responds to sound fires, we've got lightning, we've got flash bulbs, we've got emergency vehicles, we've got all kinds of lighting effects, TV, broken lights, all kinds of things that we can use for special effects. So the other thing we can do too is each one of these special effects actually has three different modes. This also comes with a mobile app which makes it really quick to dial in the settings. It's called the Sarui Light app. It's free, turn it on. And it's just as simple as turning on Bluetooth and it connects almost instantly. Select the light, it's on. And then, you know, you want to change the brightness. It's really, really simple to do that. Color temperature, cool, warm, very, very simple. Go into the color tone, we can just select a color swatch here just by simply tapping on it. Or dragging. You can choose the colors. We can create custom lighting. Effects, there's all our effects here. Let's do a fire. And then of course we've got the three different rates. So we can find these things very, very quickly in here. Let me see how that, that goes nice. And there's even an eyedropper there. Pick the blue and we get the color on the light. So these can be great, you know, for just, you know, for example, lighting up the backdrops. You'll see that in YouTube videos, really useful. Obviously we can use it for lighting our subject, doing desktop, tabletop lighting. Uh, this can just lie on the floor and it can point up. You can travel with it. I'm definitely gonna be using it when I'm traveling and also there's times I can just set it up and I can have a lighting in seconds. So it's gonna be super useful. So they say the battery takes an hour and a half to charge and it lasts for two hours. That's true, it takes about an hour and a half to charge but as far as the two hours, I tested this. I put it on full power with it fully extended. So both lights were working and I got actually close to five hours on battery before this died. So I have to say this is the easiest to use, most versatile light that I've ever had. I'm actually going to put this thing to a lot of use. 
But I'm super thrilled with this light. This is actually gonna change the way I do a lot of production because sometimes when I'm traveling and I just, I just don't bother with lighting, now I'm gonna be able to bring that lighting in and just do those quick productions, but also for cool backdrops, um, tabletop, I'm gonna be using this for photography as well as video. And now these retail for about $200 in the US. Uh, so Rui have given me a few codes. So those will be in the links underneath if you guys wanna check it out. So is this something that you guys would use or what kind of lighting are you currently using for your on the go lighting? Let me know in the comments underneath. And if you're new, welcome to Photoshop Cafe. Hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications. You won't miss any of my videos. Um, give me a thumbs up, helps with the YouTube algorithm. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.